Tracy. 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 Since I can remember, I've always loved inventing things. Oh no! What is it this time? Tracy make hat. You mean Tracy make trouble? Sure, I started off pretty basic, but now my inventors are a lot more sophisticated. Everything a modern kid needs. Like a homework doing machine. Saves time and effort and is a huge hit at the other kids at school. A lost thing finder for those pesky lost socks. Hiya, Bella. Welcome back. Even a plate that eats your veggies for you. How's the broccoli, Tracy? Wonderful, Mum. Like nothing I've ever had before. Glad you like it. You can have some more. Ah, uh, great. Ready for takeoff, Tracy? Go, Seamus! Uh, uh, Seamus! Seamus, are you okay? No worries. How long was the flight? 3.2 seconds. Yes, a new record. Next time we'll break the four second mark for sure. Seamus always looks on the bright side. That's why we're a team. Like Batman and Robin, or socks and underpants. So little time, so much to invent. You must reckon it's fun being me. It is, except for one thing. Everyone in my family calls me shrimp. Shrimp? How can they call me shrimp? Here, yeah, I'll get it. Bent propeller blade by the looks of things. You okay, Tracy? It's not like I'm short or anything. You, short? I'm not, am I? No way. You, you're just not as tall as everyone else. Yeah, right. What? No matter how many times I measured myself, I couldn't deny what the whole world knew. The giraffe never lies. Everyone's growing except me! Even my little sister Megan is taller than me. I've grown out of my old pink top, so I guess you have to wear it. Mum's gonna buy me a new one. Other kids have to wear hand-me-downs, but I get hand-me-ups. It's so humiliating. Don't be too upset, Tracy. Pink looks good on you. Pink looks good on poodles, Seamus. Tracy McBean is not a pink kind of girl. Hey, watch it, McBean. We're walking here. Yeah, we're the pedestrians. <laughs> oh, just what I need, the McConnellys. You can't boss us around, Jim. We can walk anywhere we like. Anywhere we like. But we were here first, shame us. Right, Jake? Yeah, we... Yeah. No, we weren't. Well, we were almost first. Like, if we had been here earlier... Yeah, we were almost. We chose to come late on purpose. Yeah. So, technically, we were first, sort of. Right. Yeah. If you guys are finished, we've got a life to live. Yeah, sure. No worries. See you around. Shrimp. Yeah. <laughs> Got a beauty, eh, Jake? Why, yes, Professor. I applaud your cunning plan to tease and belittle her by reference to her vertically challenged stature, Jim. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know, Jake, you should stop talking so much because I heard of this other guy who talked like you, so much like that, and his tongue fell out. And people were picking up his tongue and just licking stamps with it and stuff. That's the final insult, Seamus. Even the McConnellys think I'm short. Ignore them, Tracy. What would they know? You're smarter than them any day. Seamus was right as usual. Why should I worry about being tall? I've got brain power on my side. Now, class, what's the capital city of Italy? Oh, oh, Mrs. Comedy! Mrs. Comedy! This is comedy! It's Rome! Oh, me, 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 me! Yes, Jim McConnelly? Um, is it Rome? Correct, Jim. Well done. Ah, oh, thank you. Everyone says not to worry, that I'll grow too. But no one ever tells me when. Well, I'm sick and tired of waiting. I'm an inventor. I'll invent a way to make myself taller. <laughs> Let's see if I've got everything. The rods off Dad's extendable window washer, Mum's old gardening gloves, the TV aerial off the roof. Hey, what happened to the TV picture? 
My brother Gordon, TV addict. I'll explain later. Meanwhile, try reading a book. What? All that was left was to put it all together. This was going to knock Seamus' socks off. <laughs> <laughs>